What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video, okay? So you guys know that Suki Hana is trending yet again, and this time because of her OnlyFans content, y'all. All right, so someone leaked her OnlyFans content, and it has surfaced up here on the internet, y'all, okay? um, I haven't seen it, and honestly, I don't want to see it, okay? I saw the comments, okay? Chai, it was a lot. So someone said it looked like she squirted oxtail gravy, now, I'm going to stay far away from oxtails, okay, after I heard that, okay? Because I heard a lot about the trending videos, and I'm not quite sure who shared them, but um, child, better y'all see it than me, okay? And she also did a video interview with Armand Wiggins, and she kind of, you know, responded to what people were saying, and you could tell, like, she was ticked off. Um, but Suki, what do you expect? To me, I feel Suki Hana is getting a lot of heat right now, and certain things just shouldn't be said on social media, okay? And to see how allegedly brown fluid was leaking was very alarming to me, okay? So she identifies as an adult entertainer, okay, as her job description. And I was like, okay, cool. So why bring other female rappers' names in it? She was talking about Lil' Kim. She was talking about other rappers. And I just don't get that part. I never got that part since Suki Hana came up here. She's been comparing herself to other rappers and naming what other people do. But it's like at the end of the day, I've never seen anything as like severe as this in my opinion i've never seen it with my eyes as far as like lil kim it's one thing to rap about it but lil, lil kim was never out here just doing as much as a lot of these women are doing today okay so um it was it was just a lot um I don't get that portion of it. And she kept saying that she loves her kids, but look at the legacy that you're leaving behind for your kids, especially your daughter, okay? You got mad at vloggers for telling you the truth, but now look, okay? This is sad. You got the situation to where this man grabbed you. Just We just saw that. Then you got another situation right now where you know, you're trending for your OnlyFans content and you're no longer doing OnlyFans, okay? Um, but I, I just feel like this is sad. And it's not sad like talking down on her like she said. It's just sad that she doesn't have people around her to tell her the real. Um, I'm not quite sure who brought her up. I don't know who her mother is. I don't know how she was raised. But I'm, I'm going to sit up here and say it because a lot of people may not say it. I'm going to say it. Um, you know, it does make me wonder how she was brought up, who your mom is, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did you see in your household? Um, and I'm just saying, that's just my personal opinion on that, because it's just, like I said, you know, some stuff just shouldn't be on, um, social media. Okay. So she did an interview with Armand, you guys. And on that interview, um, she I'm, I'm going to play the, a little bit clip of the audio because it was on the Neighborhood Talk. Armand said that he doesn't know if he's going to put it out, but I'm pretty sure us knowing Armand, he's going to put it out, okay? Um, but it's just, we, and we're going to listen to some of it in a little bit, but to me, it's just a lot because it's like, you know, every time we're seeing her, it's like she doesn't have respect for herself. And then it's like she's demanding respect from all of these people, all of these men and stuff like that. And you're not going to get that respect. You know what I'm saying? Like you're demanding something that you're not even giving yourself. And it doesn't, in my, let me make this clear too. It does not... I'm not saying that she deserves what happened to her. It's just like when situations happen and situations continue to happen with her and males, it's going to continue to happen by how she carries herself. So I would suggest me personally, if you know that you're not able to, you know, close your legs when you're out in public, or if you're not able to put on clothes in public, then at least have more security. You know what I'm saying? I know she says that she'll rap and go home. But my thing is, what does being an adult have, ad adult entertainer have to do with rapping? Because either you're a rapper or you're a stripper. Either you're a rapper or you're a porn star. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, which one are you? You can't be a rapper, stripper. All right? A lot of the women that are rapping right now, it takes a lot to rap. It takes a lot of work and dedication and consistency in rapping. Just like it takes a lot of work and dedication and consistency in stripping. So it's like at the end of the day, you can't do both, okay? Maybe some people can do both, but at the end of the day, why would you want to rack your brain and do all that when you can simply choose one? So, I mean, it to me, in my humble and honest opinion, I feel like it. there's no in-between. I feel like you can't do this and this and that. Yeah, it's like you really, I feel like a lot of her, she, she exhibits a woman that's really her. She exhibits a woman that was not raised properly. 
Um, I don't know what her mother is telling her. I don't know what the deal is, but if that was my mama, I'ma just be real with y'all. I'm no, there's no high horse here, but if that was my mama, my mama would be literally like, are you effing serious? Are you effing serious right now? Like, that's just me. But like I said before, I said in one of my posts on Facebook, some some of us have uh, mothers that when Adina Howard song, Freak Like Me Play, they'll, they'll listen to it with their kids, around their kids. But other others of us, myself included, have mothers that wouldn't even play that. Like, we couldn't listen to certain things. We couldn't just see, watch certain things. You know, and that's just how a lot of us was brought up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just different parenting. You know what I'm saying? But when you get to a certain age, we can't really just continue to blame our parents for the upbringing we had because we get to a point in time we know better. And then when you have kids and you don't want your kids to see certain things, then you know better. I'm pretty sure she is not going to want her daughter. I'm hoping she would not want her daughter to be doing the same stuff that she's doing. And it's not. And a lot of people are sitting up there talking about, oh, no, she's a victim. She was a victim at one point in time. But people are now everybody dragging her. No, don't try to everybody drag her now because there's a lot of people out there sitting up there. Oh, she just said that. No, people like that. I, we see that all the time. We are grown adults. We already know how situations like that happen for people and women like that. So anyway, we about to go ahead and um, I want to play a little bit of this audio. And you guys, I'm going to go ahead and also read some of these comments in the neighborhood talk after I play. Well, I ain't going to do the neighborhood talk because the neighborhood talks was kind of mean. But I'm going to kind of go to, uh, uh, I'm probably going to Twitter. And we're going to read some of the um, comments after this audio so that you guys can listen to it. Um, And just, you know, I'm going to just tell y'all what the street's saying, girl. These celebrity streets, they are really getting on her, on her tail. I mean... I'm just saying it as they should, you know. So, anyway, we're about to get into this, y'all. So, let's go. This, because because you are colorful and sexually liberated. Um, like, even right now, you're going viral on... Um... So, let me ask you this, because because you are colorful and sexually liberated. Um, like, even right now, you're going viral on um, Twitter for a uh, released only fans that you are playing with yourself mm -hmm. and it, it, it's apparently a hundred percent piss is what people are saying yep, it was a hundred percent piss i love piss okay i and, love to pee on myself okay and some of those comments are really dis disgusting well no the thing is i'm a disgusting person so it's okay. just like people been knew that about me i don't give a fuck y'all can keep posting my only fans videos i mean i don't do only fans no more but what do you I, say to them that say she's a terrible representation for black women? I tell, Stop posting her. She's disgusting. I feel like when they say disgusting, they're not fucking lying. I feel like the people ain't, if you, whatever you heard about me is the truth. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck. You know how you break all barriers? You break them by telling them everything. Yeah. So now that I told you everything, there's no exposing. Like, it, it is what it is, bitch. I did OnlyFans during the pandemic. We were all fucked up. Some of y'all was sucking dick. For free. And still had no food in your fridge. And I'm not judging because I done been there. We ought to have somebody that ain't had no money like that. But we was fucking with them because we fuck with them. But at the end of the day, I had to do what I had to do. Just to take care of my motherfucking kids and put a roof over my head. I just feel like this is a little bit much. But we gonna continue, y'all. Hoes be out here really fucked up in real life, nasty, trifling, fucking multiple niggas. And if that's your hustle, that's your hustle. But bitch, I'm talking about the hoes that be hating on me. But me, personally, if you said I'm disgusting, you was right. So, niggas still want to fuck. They still love me. Yeah. Okay. Like, all right. I just want to know, like, cause, like, what do you say to people that are like, you know, she just exploits herself for clout. She's just disgusting for clout, and then, but she has kids. And I don't say nothing. I send them my OnlyFans link. Okay. People. Yeah. Like, that's what I do. Like, this. Is, why would I care what people? I don't even know these people. Yeah. So I can't care what people that don't that I don't know think about me. Like, what if I, I have my fan base already? I already made it. I already won. But at the end of the day, like. I'm an adult entertainer. Okay. It just so happens that I'm a TV star and I'm a rapper. So people like to put a lot of expectations on me. I'm I'm a hood girl. Mm -hmm. They want to put these expectations on me to try to come for me. And it's like, there's a lot of porn stars. There's a lot of OnlyFans, um, OnlyFans girls. There's a lot of adult entertainers. There's a lot of bitches that sing about sucking dick just like Lil' Kim, her motherfucking self. Mm -hmm. They talk about getting it, taking it in the ass. And Dina Howard and all of the motherfucking asses done did it. See, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about, but let's continue. Shit. And I tell you all the time, bitch, I ain't shit, so stop trying to motherfucking make me. So, anyway, that's a lot of cussing on that. I'm not, she, I mean, her mouth just filthy. We already know that. That was, that was a lot of cussing for me. Anyway, 
Um, but to me, she needs to rebrand immediately because if she's not going to be counseled, because in my opinion, you, 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 you know, clearly you can clearly see something isn't right upstairs. Okay. So if she doesn't rebrand. I feel like she's going to be canceled. I'm sorry. And that's no shade. But when people genuinely try to help her to give her advice or guidance, she got mad. And every time she comes right back up here and bends over with her kuda mama out, you know, and her kuda mama lip spread. So now everybody knows that your, your urine is brown. Okay. And, and that is why people don't collab or do features with you. I would be embarrassed if I was a celebrity or rapper. I would be so embarrassed. I'd be like, uh -uh, I'm not working with her. I'm not, I'm not working with her. Y'all, girl, I'm, I'm just being honest and I'm not trying to be petty, but who would want to work with that? Would you want to be a celebrity in your brand and you're, you're known for hanging around with Suki Hana? And that's not to be mean. A lot of people sitting up here talking about, oh, that's being me. No, that's why she acting the way she is now. Nobody wants to be around all that mess. That is disgusting. I'm just being honest with you. So anyway, um, we about to get into these comments, but I wanted to kind of say a few little things too. Like I said, nobody's going to want to do features with her because when you first came out, it wasn't that bad. But on the interview with Armand, she said that she didn't go, she didn't give a elf and she was very defensive because she knows it gets to her and she is human. So that's okay. Not saying people should just be picking with her and stuff, but don't you think that you should do better as a woman? You said you rap right. You rap, you're a rapper. Okay, so what does OnlyFans and being sexual 24-7 do for you? Because, I mean, has it helped you so far? I mean, you're saying, oh, I'm, I've made it, but where have you made it to? Because if OnlyFans was popping when you were on it, when you did it, then you wouldn't have, you would still have been on your OnlyFans right now. So I don't think a majority of the people really enjoyed your work on OnlyFans, Suki. And that's no shade. So... Let's um, read some of the comments on social media, you guys. I'm going to go on Twitter, and I already have it pulled up right here. So, basically, somebody said, um, let's go down. This one of one guy said, this is the year black women show us why they're at the bottom of the e e Ecolian or whatever he's saying. First of all, that does not have anything to do with black women because when we was telling her to stop doing that, then it wasn't old black women trying to tell her to stop doing it. She ain't listening. So that's her own doing because it was black women out here as well as other women telling her to stop doing that mess. She got mad and she wanted to clown and get on Instagram. Okay. So someone said, you know, a B is mentally ill when they think that a clapback is saying that men still want to F them. Baby, these men will F anything with a hole, including other men's A, if they horny enough. Please stop saying that ish like it's a flex. And also trying to make it seem like you do what you do to provide for kids don't make it no better. It's chicks out here working two and three respectable jobs to provide for their kids. And trust and believe them kids grow up. They have way more respect for their hardworking mother than the mother who sold her soul for some effing money. Providing for kids is more than keeping them in a nice house. You got to protect them babies' mental health and them seeing their mother peed on her cell phone only fans is going to make them lose so much respect for you when they get older and if any woman agree with anything she just said you need to really go out and seek therapy she is dead wrong and i really pray for the industry that the industry gets rid of her before it gets any more before she does any more damage okay so i'm reading people's stuff y'all i'm trying to read it the best i can but i really want y'all to listen to this somebody says she's a representation of herself not all black women the sooner y'all get that the better y'all will be and somebody say i hate when uh, people say black women in bad situations because what do she got to do with all black women? Why can't it be Suki reputation? Why do all black women have to be seen as horrible because of her or what someone else does? Black folks got to stop the black women stereotypes, right? And um, somebody said, y'all be missing a principal point. She's disgusting, but she's okay in living with her truth. She keeps it all the way 100, no matter how she's perceived or how the next may judge her. Most of all, on the other hand, or hiding y'all's truth, even if it isn't as deep as hers. Everybody, not the same, but most people be hiding behind a mask, and that's what makes her different. I think that she's no different. This comment, whoever this was, I think she's no different from any low, bottom of the barrel we've seen, because this is something, this is not new. When, when, when a person is different, they're doing something that we have not already seen, and we've already seen this stuff. So it's like, I don't get it. And she said, and then she goes, Suki on the goes and says, well, you guys are doing it for free. Well, Suki, you're doing it for free too, because you're putting pictures up here and people are seeing your kuda mama for free. So anyway, somebody said, you're right. You are just that. But last week she was shy girl by. So somebody was saying Suki Hunter was playing shy last week. Somebody else said, I'm sick of this mess. Somebody else said it was brown P too. It was brown P though. 
And my thing is what I've never heard of a woman having brown that color of urine. I've never heard of that in my entire life. I didn't even know that existed. Okay. So I'm not, y'all, I, I, for those of y'all that have seen that video, baby, my heart go out to y'all because baby that I could not look at it. I'm sorry. Somebody said, I think she low-key embarrassed and trying to play it off by not giving an elf. And she is. I, if I was her, I would be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed because this is this is like, mm -mm. somebody said, she cares. She human and has feelings. I don't care how much she trying to front like she not bothered because why throw shots at the comments, commenters and say all that. But when that boy kissed her in the mouth, it was all playing victim. This girl's confused with who she really is. And it's sad. Yeah, because she's at an older age, you know. But she, her feelings are her because she was sitting up there talking about she cried about the situation with Tasha K. If you cannot handle Tasha K, you can't handle nobody. You can't handle the people. You can't handle the people in uh in the world and the masses of people that's in these comments right now. So one, somebody said Cloud is one hell of a drug, and this is a defense mechanism at its finest, or should I say worse? I'm all for being who you are, but baby, this ain't it. People really don't give a f how they use their platform and will do anything for Cloud. Somebody said, let's be clear, who it doesn't mean disgusting, and despicable, and degrading. Right. Somebody said, she looked like a Bernstein bear. Somebody said, she's so authentic, you got to respect her truth. Somebody else said, I can't defend her no more. Someone said, she think that, that it's cute. She 30, it's time to level up and start acting like a grown woman. Someone else said, she right, she only been public with one ninja, so she beating the slut allegations. I'm team Sukihana. Okay. Somebody said, I knew them pigs would see mess. They roll around in it, so let her roll in her ish. Somebody said, as long as she knows she's a poor example, outlandish, outrage over a human like this. It's giving she embarrassed and trying to downplay it. I'm sorry, that's something no one should post. Someone says, Suki is a marketing genius. LOL, y'all troll her and she trolls y'all back. Someone says, man, please, it's always I get money after they get clowns. Well, that will take that dang money to the gynecologist and get that pH balance, baby. I love you, Suki, but dang. Somebody said, but like she said, it was one ninja, her fiance, and she is a hood mother if you follow her. Somebody said, bottom feeders getting star attention world is such trend followers. Um, somebody said people be bored you can't expose someone that got nothing to hide so it's a lot of people that's really if i look at these comments i can go on and on and on and on like people are really not here for it. it's probably like maybe two out of like literally like the thousands of comments that i have seen and people are just like no we're not here for it. we're not trying to sit up here and listen to that like and i don't blame them but last week and the week before last it was all tasha k wrong all these bloggers was wrong for telling her okay sis you need to you know not do this or you need to not do that and it was all oh she a victim this and that okay so now another man uh, basically if you uh, in, in my opinion assaulted her when he touched her private area when she was on stage and nobody said anything about that but she's such a victim it's a constant situation okay I just feel like at some point in time, we all grown. People need to just be grown. Stop sitting up here trying to feel a certain type of way. That's why I be telling people all the time. Stop trying to take um, a side like of someone that you like them because they're a popular celebrity or you like them because they no celebrities do stuff too. And they do some downgrading, low down, dirty, dick dog stuff. They do. So at the end of the day, I feel like this was Suki Hana. Do I wish that this would happen to her? No, I don't. I wish that she would be successful in her rapping career because a lot of people say that she's a decent rapper, but she doesn't want that. But you can tell how she acts and how she talks that she has been through a lot of her life. She's been hurt, hurt in her life. And possibly, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying this. This is just what I think. This is just my opinion. This is not the badge or anything. But I feel like that looks like a child, a, a woman that was that was harmed as a child. In my humble opinion, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying that's what I feel. She shows all of the signs and it shows that she did not heal from that. And that just shows a lot of the things that are swept under the rug in our communities. That's all I'm saying. So at the end of the day, I just feel like she really, really um, needs to be evaluated. And I'm just saying it because there are people around her that see her doing this. And are y'all not sitting her down and saying, hey, you know, sis, maybe this person right. I'm not trying to take up for your enemy or nothing like that. But, you know, maybe the, it, the, the worst thing that I feel is when, especially when you're a celebrity, is you get up here and you you beefing with somebody and then they're, you, you're literally proving them right by what you're posting and with how you're continuing to act. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you literally, for goodness sakes, you literally, when that stuff happened with that boy and him kissing you all in the mouth, you literally sat up there and was like, I don't know how to defend myself. I'm so afraid. Da, da, da. You was literally just doing that. Then all of a sudden, it comes down to, 
oh, well, this, that, and the third, sis, you need to get you some better people in your in your corner. You need to get you some better people in your corner. And I'm not trying to judge, but I feel like if you don't clean this up or figure out a way to kind of maneuver out of this, I feel like your career is going to be done. And I want to see her, I want to see this beautiful woman expand because she is a beautiful woman. But I want you to elevate. And this is not how you elevate. You say you got out of the hood, this and that. Well, sis, if you keep acting like this, you're going to be right back in there. And that's no shade of tea. I don't wish harm on nobody. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, you guys, about this situation. Do y'all think that Sukihana is taking it too far? Do you think the bloggers were right about her, you guys? And what do y'all, you know, wish for her? The healing or, you know, I wish healing, peace, and love and light towards Sukihana. And I hope that whatever it is that's hurting her, because obviously she got something that's hurting her. I hope that it heals and mends, okay? So anyway, you guys, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.